Hey guys, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. This is actually one of my favourite builds so far right here. And what it is, is a combination lock. And I've got four inputs here, but you can put as many as you want. Once I show you how to wire this, it's pretty easy to set up more inputs. And so this is the correct combination here. I press a button, I go in the house. Press another button to get out. This can be your chest room or whatever you want, pretty much. Alright. So if I change this... As you can see, the door not open, so you need the correct combination for it to open. Now, I'll just quickly show you the wiring, but I'm actually going to show you how to build it. So, you just start off in the corner here. And just say you want your door here, this is where you'll dig down two blocks. I'm going to put some wool here just to mark it. So, and then I, you put a block on top of it, put the door down, put some wool next to it, leave one, one block and then your button to open the door. And then, that's one lever, two, three, four. Alright. So then you just skip a block and put a lever there, like that. These are my four inputs. Now you pick a combination. So, let's go that one down and that one down. Now what you want to do, is you want to put blocks behind all of them. But, the blocks that you put down you want to put a redstone torch there as well, so there and there, yep. Now you want to redstone all these, give them power, let's bring those down, extend it a bit, like that. Now this is where the button is, so that you'll just, oh, get rid of that, you want to bring that down a fair bit. Alright, so now you got this worked out, you want to hook both of them up, and put them into a gate here, so just just like that, that'll do it. Then you got your redstone here. Now this is going to be feeding into an AND gate. So you just build your AND gate here. Put a torch there, torch there, redstone there, output here. And you'll want to connect your button to one side of the AND gate. So I'm going to do that like that. So the button is going to one side of the AND gate, and this AND gate actually requires both of these torches to be off. So as you can see at the moment this one's on, but when I press this button it turns off, and so I've got the correct combination set as well, so as you can see this torch is off. So now when I press this button the door will open because both will be off, and that'll change the output here. And so this is where you want to start reversing it. Now you could just bring the redstone straight to the door and it would work, but to hide the redstone you need to reverse it twice, so there's me just reversing it and I like to bring it down two right in front of the door and just get rid of this dirt here like so, that's the block that has the redstone torch on the other side of it that's why I marked it. You just link that up like that Okay, now the door's closed. That's all working good. Cover this bit up. You can't cover this up, so I like to build like a wall here. And, well, that's pretty much it there. And this can be your room, so... Oh, I'll get rid of that one, actually. We'll, we'll put a button here. This is for the way out. And I'll just turn this into a bit of a room here to show you guys. Alright, so this could be your chests here, or whatever you want. The spun to get out. Now here's your combination. That's the correct one. So when I press this, the door open. And I press that to get out. So that's pretty much how you set it up. Now, I'll just do a bit more explaining, so if anyone wants to wire this up a bit longer. Okay, so pretty much, you want all of this redstone line to be off. Because that causes that torch to be on and that causes this torch to be off. And the AND gate wants both of these torches off for the output to be on, which we've reversed to off and on, because we've got another torch below this door here. But just pretend these gates are reversed, taken out of it, the situation. So if you wanted to add another one, you would just have to build a cross, put another one there, and let's just say it's off, so you'd put that there, put the redstone on it, and see what happens when we link this up, 
it all turns on and you don't want that so if you want this to be the correct combination you want to put a torch there and then hook it up so now that'll that'll still work and that'll be another combination that you've just accessed and so if we change this as you can see it turns it on and it gets reversed so both of these are on so the output isn't what we want it to be so the door won't work that's pretty much how this works so I hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching. If you have any questions just make sure you post it in the comments below. Cheers.